This is just a bit of a quick fun comparison look at Linux Mint version 4 versus version 5 beta edition on the right here. Uh, yeah, just to see the similarities and differences here. Now, Linux Mint 4 and 5, not to be confused with the current release, Linux Mint 20.3. Uh, this one's actually based on Debian as opposed to the Linux Mint 20.3 that, that's based on Ubuntu. So both of these based on Debian here. And the reason for that might actually be because it's a uh, it's uh, said to be a little bit faster and more stable there as well. But let's get into a little bit of a look here. Now, what they're actually doing with the uh, Linux Mint 5 Beta, or the LMDE as they like to call it, 5 Beta, is to really bring it in alignment with the look and feel of the Cinnamon desktop from Linux Mint 20.3. Really a star player within the, within the distro game wars here. Now, you'll see it's actually almost exactly the same here. There's a slight difference or update to, to coloring and icons. In fact, that's all I can see, just the Firefox icon, barely different there. But everything is basically about the same here. We've got all the same Office apps, the sound and video apps, and uh, not the least of which would be your internet apps there as well. Oh, we've got a little web apps thing here, but um, basically, yeah, very much of a muchness. There's no real difference on the actual desktop itself. Let's have a look at the context menu, doing the exact same thing there as well. Now, there might be slightly different version in, but uh, let's have a look at the, the file manager. So the older current version is running on Nemo uh, 5.0.x, and then we've got uh, the beta release, definitely a little bit newer, but you can't really notice that much of a difference except for the color scheme that they're going with there. Uh, if we were to maybe go under the hood, this is where things might start to get a little bit more interesting, at least for me, is that we have the, the kernel. So the Linux Mint 4 kernel is running on 4.19. So this is actually based on Buster, the Buster version of Debian that's still supported until 2024. And then we've got a much later kernel for Linux Mint 5 because it's based on a newer version of Debian called Bullseye. I've taken the liberty to open up the uh, uh, the Debian backend uh, just before, and we can see it's running on Bullseye, which is supported, fairly new, uh, and is supported until 2026, if I'm not mistaken. So many, many years away. If you're running the Linux Mint 4, then it will actually still be supported for many years. It's just Linux Mint 5, still in beta, of course, but supported for even many more years, two more years, in fact. Now, um, last but not least, uh, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage. So this is usually where it gets interesting. So we are running on this Cinnamon desktop. So this is the, uh, the default in-house built desktop environment from the Linux Mint crew. Great, fantastic crew there. And we can see, oh, you can see a little bit of different coloring schemes there as well. So you've got a bit more of a dark mode on the new Linux Mint, which is nice to see. And uh, let's see, 680 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 4, whereas you've got about 700 megabytes of, um, of RAM usage on boot up for Linux Mint 5. So uh, for Debian Edition, I should probably qualify all of these terms here, Linux Mint Debian Edition LMDE. But uh, basically, yeah, just a little bit more. I guess that has to be the way. I mean, you are dealing with a much newer kernel, many, many generations newer, you could say, or small evolutions. And uh, yeah, so perhaps, yeah, fairly well optimized, all things considered, just using about 20 megabytes more of RAM. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.